Aliens have finally managed to track down the most dangerous being in the galaxy, on Earth, hanging out with a bunch of humans because it likes their company. Commander, we have confirmation about the presumed location of the MDB. Crike fumbled nervously with his data screen. He wasn't quite sure how his commander would react to the news. Excellent, Sergeant. So they are indeed hiding in System 27F2. Too bad for them. Our weapons should be sufficient to make it short. Yes, Commander, there's just one problem. Kreich swallowed hard. The commander wasn't known for his patience nor composure. In fact, he was widely considered mad, which was precisely the reason he had been picked for this mission. After all, noon short of a madman would try to find the most dangerous being in the galaxy, the MDB, and proceed to shoot at them with weapons he could only hope to be effective. What is it, Sergeant? Have you lost your courage? Should I call your nest fathers? No, Commander, definitely not. It's just, there are quite a number of them, and they have very peculiar friends. Don't play games with me, Sergeant. Will you tell me the problem now, or shall we wait until tomorrow? Yes, Commander, no, Commander. There are approximately 600 million of them on a planet called Earth, the second closest planet to the central star in this system. The planet is inhabited by a wide range of creatures, including sentient bipedals, which call themselves humans. We could run into quite a few problems with the Galactic Union, seeing as they are intelligent enough to be considered a candidate for entrance and inhabit most of the landmass of the planet if we simply blast the planet away. So you're telling me, Sergeant, that the MDB have not only grown into the millions, but they adopted a sentient species into their society? A species we have to be considerate of because they qualify for the GU? No, Sergeant, you were wrong. We do not have only one problem, we have a multitude of problems. Call a meeting. We need to discuss things right now. Kreishi shifted to his hind legs. This could get pretty uncomfortable. Why are you still standing there like a frozen quatch? Get moving. Commander, I fear you have misunderstood. The MDB have not in fact adopted the humans. It's the other way around. The humans have adopted the MDBs. The commander's voice was dangerously calm now. Sergeant, do you want to tell me that a species that could destroy an entire star sightum in the blink of an eye has been adopted by a small population of bipedals that happen to live on the same planet they retreated to? Yes, Commander, I do. Kreichi ducked his head in fear. The Commander sure could be intimidating. The humans call them cats and keep them as pets. That is a sort of symbiosis between a human and another life form, but the human doesn't seem to get anything in return. We guess they just enjoy keeping other life forms around. And I should add that the human population itself is greater than that of the MBD. Our estimates are eight billion, but we can't be sure. Sergeant, if this is a joke, I am not amused. Negative, Commander. We have checked our information thoroughly. There's no doubt about it. Why the MDB wanted to give up their freedom for the humans, we don't know. They even let the humans lock them inside or make fun of them. Apparently, they, too, must like the company. So, Sergeant, if the humans have full control over the MDB, why don't we just ask them to get rid of them? I don't think that would be a great idea, Commander. The humans hold their MDB quite dearly. I'm afraid that might cause an intergalactic war. The commander stared at him for a while, then shook his antennae in disbelief. Call the meeting. This will be a task to drive a man crazy. Yes, commander. Crike saluted and had made half the way to the door when the commander called after him. And sergeant, next time we have a problem, I want a direct report. If you ever dare to conceal a problem from me, I will personally have you stripped from your rank and thrown out the airlock. I can't use a sergeant that hides a problem from me until it gets so big it generates its own gravity. Yes, Commander, I understand. Kreich had no doubt the Commander would be fit for the mission. 